Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice Rita. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's tutorial. And to all my new subscribers, thank you for checking out my channel. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you do, please click the subscribe button and also the like button. If you have any question, please put in the comment section. So I'm going to go straight to today's tutorial. This tutorial is about how to change image color. So if you like here, I have my original Zestack image from the microscope. So I'm going to show you how to change the color of this image. And at the same time, if you've already exported your image from the microscope as a JPEG or as a TIFF file, but you are not, uh, you don't like the color, maybe you want to change from a red to magenta to give better visualization uh, to your audience. I'm going to show you also how to do that. And this my microscope beautiful uh, this beautiful microscope image, I'm going to put it into a maximum projection just to give you a clearer view of what I have from my Zestack image. So this is my beautiful sample. And for instance, if I'm not happy with the green color, I could just go to the loot, that's the lookup table. That's why it's called loot, L U T lookup table. Click on it, be it in your Fiji or image J, you can select whatever color that you are interested in visualizing. You can see that's really, really easy. That doesn't take any time. However, if you are, if you already have, okay, so I have here this uh, image that I was processing. Imagine I finished processing this image for figure publication. However, I have the image I have some of the panel in red. People that are colorblind cannot visualize red, so it's going to appear to them in a different color. So how do you then uh, change this color for this type of, let me close my, uh, minimize my confocal image. So how will you then be able to change this without having to go back to process each of these single images? That is what I want to show you today. So this is my image, most colored images I have three basic units, uh, basic uh, building block, which is the red, the green, and the blue. So now this uh, figure I'm showing you here, it's from one of our publication recently that we uh, recently published. And when I process this, you can see that it was in red and green. However, if I want to use this for my presentation, I'm going to change the color. And what will I do? I'll go to image, color, split channel. This will split the images, this single image into three different channels. Like I told you that there are three building blocks for the colored image. You can see here, it shows blue. This one, it shows red. And this other one, it shows green. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to match these three images together. However, remember I'm interested in changing the red image from magenta into, uh, from red to magenta. Oh, I should have, uh, I should have shown you the first image. So let me go back and open figure two. So this was, this is the image I'm currently working on. So that we can then compare later. So this is the image that I just split into three. Anyway, so this blue is going to be blue. So you can see that even the everything is changes to blue. This red is going to be, I'm going to, because I'm interested from changing this uh, red one into magenta, I'm going to select magenta. And the third one, it's green, you can see, this is the channel, panel for green, it recognizes it, select green. Now we are going to match these three together to have this image again. And that, you do that by going to image, color, match channels. You know that I told you that the three different uh, color, you can see that automatically image J recognizes the blue channel, the green and the red. However, we don't want the image to appear as red. So I'm going to select magenta because we want the red channel to be showing as magenta. And when you click on OK, you have this. You have this uh, image. So it's easier to change a single channel, the red panel, like this one, it's easier to change it from this red, 
you can see that it affected the the gray parts affected the color it make the green the parts that was appearing as uh, gray in color is appearing now more at whitish however the green channel was still written as green and the red the red uh, section which was in red here it has changed it to magenta which is what we wanted so if you have colored images and you're interested in changing them to uh to change them to magenta that's how you easily change your image color however the best practice is always to go back to the original microscope image like i have here and select the color that you want to export it as so you can always choose whatever color you are interested in displaying so this best practice is for you to use the original image file however if you're in a haste you can just go back to the single images before you match them together and change the red one back to magenta even if you're in jpeg i hope you find today's tutorial useful if you found this tutorial useful i hope i'm not too uh, fast with my uh, the, uh explanation if you if you find this tutorial useful please leave in the comment section uh, an alternative way you think you can do this if there are alternative way that you can uh, do this uh, color change i love to learn every day so until next time bye